models real hands in the campaigns what? they're Gemma Howworth now Gemma's is the uh, UK number one hand model and has been the hands of Kate Moss and Lily Cole in Rimmel ads now Gemma's also been the hands of some famous Aussies including Rose Byrne Kylie Minogue and Natalie Imbruglia I love Natalie's hands after seven years in the biz Gemma's still at the tip of her game and now also runs a successful body parts modeling agency in London helping turn this one-time hobby into a fantastic career and for more on this different modeling job we're joined by Kate Moss's hand double herself <laughs> Gemma welcome to the show nice to see you give us a look at your hands nice to see you but where are your hands there, there. <laughs> oh, now I recognize you uh, how did you become a hand model is it is something you would uh, aspire to you're just walking through the street and someone says great hands yeah, no, um, not really. I kind of, a friend's mum was a very big high, high profile photographer and she first spotted my hands when I was quite young and she really kind of was like, Jeremy, you know, you've got amazing hands. This could be, you know, a really big career for you. And then quite a few other people kept saying it and I was thinking, okay, this is getting a bit annoying now. So then my friend's mum, the photographer, she kind of kidnapped me up to London to see this agent when I think I was about 14, 15. Um, they saw my hands and they signed me up pretty much on the spot and yeah it's just kind of gone from there really. Wow so that was when you were 14 is it like regular modeling like the younger your hands the better or, or do hands get better with age to a certain point? Yeah I mean I wouldn't say probably too young because obviously now I've got my own agency Body London 14 is probably a bit too young but um, I mean it's definitely good to have young hands because you stay wrinkle free and blemish free but uh, as long as you keep as lo you know I'm pretty crazy with my hand care routine so as long as you keep looking after your hands you can do it up until you even in your 40s and your 50s yeah there's no age limit really hey do the celebrities on set treat you as an equal or do they just go oh Jim is here to lend a hand the, no, they're, they're definitely the star, but they respect what I'm doing and they know that, you know, I'm there to do a job and it's an important job and they don't kind of get annoyed. The top celebrities don't get annoyed that I'm there doing it. Sometimes it's the young kind of models who, you know, have got a bit of a chip on their shoulder. They think that they, you know, they think, oh, what's wrong with my hands? But, you know, Kate, she's amazing, absolutely amazing. Rose Byrne, I loved her. Kylie... Lily Cole, I can't say enough good words about all of them. They're such professionals. Okay, your hands must have to be in pristine condition all the time. Um, does that get you out of housework, Gemma? Just sort of what precautions do you, and lengths do you have to go to <laughs> to protect your hands? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, my day-to-day -day routine. I mean, I moisturise my hands probably about 30 times a day. Um, and when I sunbathe, I wear white gloves. I don't know if you've seen the picture, but and I wear Factor 60 on my hands. And then recently, I was on holiday and I forgot to take my white gloves, so I had to wear my tennis socks to sunbathe in. Um, and the people on the beach thought I was a bit crazy, but you know, it's part of my job. I've got to do it. But a chipped nail—if so, yeah. you chip your nail, that can cost you thousands, thousands of pounds, right? Ah. Exactly. I mean, if I break a nail, it could take two to three weeks to grow back and it could literally be about £3,000 or more of lost work because I, I work pretty much every day. Wow. Last week I was working seven days a week, so wow. it's, you know, I need to keep my hands pretty safe. G Gemma, I'm, I'm aware now that I, as I'm getting a little older, my modelling days are coming to an end. Do sometimes you look at your hands and think, you know, one day that little bit of skin between there and there is just going to get a little droopy and, and that's going to be the end of it? I mean, the good thing about it is that I've set up Body London and I've got about 85 other models who can, you know, if suddenly I went to open my car door and my finger came off or something crazy, that I've got other fantastic models as backup. But I'm going to keep doing this for as long as I can because I am at the top of my game and as long as I can keep my hands in as good condition as possible, then I can keep Kate and Lily and Kylie and everyone you know, looking as good looking as they good, can yeah. do. Just, yeah. just in one word, what's the weirdest body part on your books? Um, maybe bottoms is quite a popular Bottom. one. Yeah. We've okay. got eyes, lips, feet, legs, <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Great, Thanks, Gemma. Gemma. Thank you very much. Good to Thank talk to you. Thank you. I, I think your hands it? are in great condition. The one finger I get to see that you stick up at me all the time, I think that's in <laughs> fine condition. Gets the workout, doesn't it? Still to come for you. Everyday Aussies call to help sell the country to visitors overseas. But first, here's Glenn with a quick and simple solution to dirty floors. I could do that.